Good morning. I just wanted to hop on and do a video for a comment that we got uh, for Innisfil on some neighborhoods, primarily um, Cookstown between 1.1 and 1.4. So I pulled up a listing on Copeland Crescent. So this is, I'm going to go back and just show what I've done. So I just punch Innisfil Cookstown, 20 active listings. There's anywhere between this mobile trailer, 319 right up to 2.2. I wanna jump on to Copeland Crescent just for a second. I will review a couple other ones, but I wanna go through this one with a few features that I think are very important that people could really uh, benefit from, understand the area a bit more and they're called Google Street View. I'm gonna hop on to Realtor after that and I'm gonna go through um, schools in the area, parks, demographics, renters versus owners, income levels, uh, family members in, like in the in that area, meaning kids. It gives them a better idea of if it's a family neighborhood. Um, is there rental, rental properties in, the, in, the, in that area? What's the makeup and density of the area? Is it town, semis, detached, bungalows, et cetera? So there's some good tools that I think can really help some, someone to really navigate this. Um, before I begin, I just want to talk about the higher price points. We've been covering Innisville for about a little over a year now, and we've really seen in these high ranges that there's just not a lot of activity. Last time we did a video on it was a few weeks ago, and out of the total inventory, there was 104 listings in the community that were priced from a million and above, and only about eight or nine of them a month selling. We've also reviewed... Um, where they've started off days on market. So, and this, so I just want to jump on this one first before we go in depth with it to show the process that we do. Very nice home. We see a lot of these big two stories in, in the community, price of that range. There's a lot of product. And right now there is not a lot of demand currently. Let's go to the pictures and then I'll go through everything else. That's a field. Again, I don't know what's going to be back there. It looks like it's a farmer's field, but we've seen many uh, areas in Innisfil that currently, you know, is zone agriculture that have been taken over through development over the years. So it is possible. Um, I would always check the municipality and ask what's going on behind 132 Copeland as an example. They will be able to tell you that. Also see, seeing a lot, these they're all big homes and they're on small lots. They're all house. Like I love the kitchen and a lot of them are show very, very well, very upgraded, great floor plans, great areas, but it's just the lack of affordability that people can afford right now with these rates. What we saw in the COVID times is we saw, of course, when we saw the rates come down, these you couldn't keep these properties in stock. There was so much demand because the payments were a lot lower. Like it's a it's a beautiful home. I've seen better at that price point. I have more upgraded. Above ground pool. Let's so listed for four days currently. But when I go to address history, I want to kind of see what's going on with it. No, it, has been listed. it hasn't been listed before, so that's a plus that way. But there's lots of these products. Four bedrooms, five bathrooms, two-piece in the main, three-piece on the second level, a five-piece on the second level, which is the ensuite, and a third piece in the basement. 3,000, 3,500 square feet. It's a big home. Um, total square footage is 4,667 square feet. So when I go over to Realtor, this is a tool that I think – People should be using more. You want to know what your neighborhood's doing? You want to know what's going on? So when I go to statistics, it tells me average income, individuals 49, family income is $138,400. I'm not really looking at the, at the measurements. I just want to go to some other stuff in here. I don't. This is a new listing, but let me just jump over here. Okay, so for quiet, it's rated a 10 out of 10. Good. Car friendly. Um, I've only seen one sidewalk on there. As you know, with uh, streets that have these double sidewalks on, a lot of people are parking on, on, the, on, the, on the road. 
five grocery store, general stores within 15 to 20 minute walk is food land, cafes, nightlife, restaurants, elementary schools, there's two. Sorry about that. No high school. High school kids are going to be bused probably to Nantire. I want to go. I wish it was showing me. Okay. So this is what I wanted to show. I'm just going to move this out of the area. Wait. So a single detach makes up 98.4% of that area. Semi detached 1.1%. So primarily you're living in an area, moving to an area that has detached properties, probably within a similar range. This is important, owners versus renters. Owners, 94.3% people own the properties in the area, 5.7% are renting. I wanna go through, we could even get more in depth with this. Let's just look at the population. So, Someone has kids, it's pretty important to move to a family uh, family area. So ages from you know zero to four, five point one percent, five to nine, five point one, and it keeps going down. So this is good information for families that are going, hey, you know what? We're looking for a kid family neighborhood, or you know what? We're looking for an older demographic. There's a lot of older demographics here, 50 to 64, 24%. That's huge. And 65 to 79, 15%. And I was at 80, 1.7%. So <clears throat> there's a good mix of demographics in there. One more useful tool is Street View. Go to, I just put in 127 Copeland. Um, go to Street View. This is, this is on Google. It will look at, look at the properties. Again, <clears throat> the makeup of the street, the makeup of that area are gonna be large two stories. This is very common in the community. I could turn this around a little bit too. Give you a great idea. This is probably protected. Again, as a municipality. So, you know, what I like about this is, is I can see, you know, how, what the presentation is on the street. How are people keeping up with their properties? And it's easy identifiable, <clears throat> excuse me, to you know see if there's renters and stuff like that and some renters don't look after and maintain the property go to google street view it is a great great tool and you can go through so many you can you can keep going it for a long time with this so we can see we're not seeing anything different right we're seeing big two-story homes consistently what I like about it too is the driveways are big. It can accommodate vehicles, right? A lot of new streets today don't have that option. Hope you find that useful. I'm gonna go back to the listing. Give me one minute. When I also, uh, we pulled up a crime map last night to see the Innisfil one at Simcoe uh, Police Services. <clears throat> we were surprised, we weren't surprised. There wasn't a lot of crime in the communities. The odd disturbance, the odd, you know, um, possibly assault, but it was rare. Like, I mean, <clears throat> they had so many, different uh, occurrences, meaning oh, speeding ticket, traffic violation. People really aren't too, too concerned about that, unless it's a busy street and they kind of want to say, hey, let's go on here and see, you know, this is a busy street or are we, you know, can expect people speeding, et cetera. So that is, that is something to, to look on, but you know what? I'm not seeing a lot of crime in the community. Um, it, we were planning to do a video on it, but there just wasn't enough information. I think the audience would have got really bored with it. So I suggest, you know, for your own learning to check that out. So let's go to one point, uh, sorry, 127 Copeland and Cookstown. Again, 
seven days of market. I want to check the history because this is so key. Well, they tried selling it back in, in 18 and then they, you know, they've taken off the market. So a new listing. Um, four bedrooms, five washrooms. I won't go through every listing. It would take us a long time, but I want to kind of put some key points on this area. Thir again, 3,000, 3,500 square feet. As from the street view, we saw their big, gigantic two-story homes. Let's take a quick look at it. I like I like the presentation much better than 132 Copeland. I love the darker hardwood floors. I love the railing. I think this island should be a lot bigger because you have space in there, but this is a very nice home. Also thinking this kitchen is too small for this size. I don't know why the builder didn't keep going or move this window over, give you some more cupboard space. I don't think there's enough. Love the pot lights. And I like that there's consistent flooring throughout, right? It's all the same as in the lower level. No carpet by looking at this. It's a nice home. But again, these homes take a long time to sell. And as we go through some in, in Alcona and some other areas, you're going to see that. Gigantic home. So we got a big lot. Let me just double check that. Yeah, a decent size lot, 52 by uh, 129. That's decent. Let's do one more in Cookstown, but <clears throat> I'm hoping to find something. Again, we've seen three properties. So far in Copeland, 1.2, 1.4, which to me, this one looked a lot better. And what I'm seeing a lot of in the community, more in Alcona and other parts in Lafroy, is that the pricing is off. I'm noticing that, oh, let's list it exactly like the other one on the street or two doors down or a few streets over. And it's listed at 1.4. I think ours compares to that. But sellers can't look at that. You have to go to what is selling in the community as sold listings. Matching of what apples to apples isn't working. Go to the listings, look at how many days on market. It's got a lot of high days on market. I'm gonna tell you, don't list at that price. Dig deeper for research, go into seeing what is sold in the community, what is sold in that area. You have to look at that. Don't go on what the neighbors are listing at. It's not the approach to take. And too many people are taking this approach in that community. And that's why there's so much inventory. And then what I noticed too, and I hope to find one, which we will, we will notice that um, you will see triple days on market, three or four months, you know, five or six price changes along the way. So one day on market, but I want to go to history before I, I do it. Okay. So here's a bit of history, but... So they leased this out at one time for four thousand dollars a month in 2022. They tried selling it in uh, April 2022. That's in March 2022. Right after the kids got back from the March break, we started to see a lot of inventory come on the market, and things started to slow. And then in April, the Fed started to do their tightening, and that's what kind of killed these higher price points. Let's go back to this list. This is a big bungalow, uh, 2,000 square feet, three bedrooms up, one down, four bathrooms, two piece, three piece in the main, five piece in the main, which is the ensuite, and three piece in the basement. Again, backing on that field, just, you know, farmland. You can kind of see there's just, you might have this more of a side approach to the art. I love the triple car garage. Love that there's lots of parking. So you're seeing a lot of homes in the higher ranges in that community. You're not seeing a, a, any mixes which I think is great. I'm kind of disappointed in the kitchen. I, I'm not loving this. That's just me. Home's vacant. I think it's priced too high for how it shows. It's big, but I'm not loving it. I think someone could do better. And this, I don't like this. I think this would turn a lot of people off. So someone that's looking at that, I would be very, 
skeptical about looking at that property. Um, let's see what else we got. Fourteen A Shelby Street. It's vacant. Four bedrooms. One point four seven nine. Five days in the market. Again, three thousand to thirty-five hundred square feet. Bathroom in the basement. So there's just a cold storage in there too. Fifty by one thirty-nine. I want to go to address history because I'm dying to show some long, lengthy history, and I'm not seeing it. But this again, there's not a lot of product in, in Cookstown. When we go over to, to Innisfil more in Alcone area, we're going to see a lot. But the pricing is seems to be 1.2 to 1.4 in change. But great curb appeal. You know, home shows well. Love the ceilings. Love it. Got a bigger island. I wish it was a bit bigger. I find it tight in there, but it, it's a nice home. Love the conference ceiling look. And you're going to see a lot of different uh, in these ranges. Some homes are going to be really upgraded and show very well. And some of them sell fast because of that. Like this home shows extremely well. Yeah, yeah it's... it's Love the black, a little different. Looks like that was a separate entrance downstairs. Basement, just I think there's just a, a yeah, nothing really. Um, nice home, really nice home. Let's take a look over to what what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to solds just to show to see if we can see some things in Cookstown that are unavailable, um, and we'll just go back sixty days. We're only going to look at some higher ranges. Let's even go back. I'm just go October. It doesn't really matter. I, I, I'm, I'm only trying to show. I'm not showing comparables. I only want to show um, what's the higher ranges and how long they take. But again, there's not. It's a small community on there. It's only 14 properties sold from October 2nd currently. So let's just go to this one on Flay. 26 days on market listed for 1,299,000. I want to go the history. Okay, so this is telling a bit of a story. Originally listed in what July, uh, August thirtieth for one million three hundred sixty nine thousand. So we got some days in there. So seventy four days. This is normal. Double digits heading into triple digits. Nothing on it. Then we, they tried to kill the listing, put it back up another 27 days, 20 days, sorry. So now we have 94 days in the market at the same price. This is normal to see. Then we got, then they reduced it to 1,299,000 and sold it within 26 days. So there's 120 days in market. This is common. This is really, really common. I really believe that the buyers today in these high ranges in this community control the market and are in a really good position uh, to negotiate, but just do your homework. Okay. Really dig deep into the solds. Um, looking at that, know the inventory, what's available because it's your pick. I'm glad we saw one. I'm glad we saw one on Cookstown. Let's just go to another one. So 77 days on market, 1,349,000 sold. For one million two hundred fifty thousand, a hundred thousand discount, but it's normal. I want to see the history again. So they listed this for a million ninety nine, but it's just it's telling me a story. I bet they're holding off on offers. Uh, please schedule B one bank draft agent two. Okay, so yes, originally it was priced at one million three hundred ninety nine thousand. And then it went to a, a million one point one, and I don't know when this update was done. It just tells me that sixty three days on market. So they're trying to get some excitement. I'm telling you right now, bidding wars at these higher ranges, 
Sometimes they work, but it's rarely that they work because there's a, there's a story behind them. When, when an agent's pulling this up or, or even people in house stigma, they can see the history of the listing. Well, they asked at 1.5 and now they're asking 999. You know, they're not going to take 999. They want the one, three, the one, four range on it. So to be honest, save yourself a bunch of time. Don't bother. So 77 days on market, normal thing to see. Let's just go. I want to see if I can get one more on here. Um, let's just go. So it's all pretty close. So 117 days on market. It's a long time. Listed for 1424 Sold, you know, for the same price. Pretty good. Um, we're seeing some of that happen. Let's just see the date. This is a 2023, so we're not really looking at dates, but I just want to kind of see when they're, when they're doing what, if they were, when was the last update, et cetera, on it. So not bad, but we are seeing people, older products starting to turn. We saw that more this year uh, in Feb, early March, where there's just not a lot of product buyers kind of came back at a faster pace. And we started seeing some of this inventory listed for 50, 60, 70 days, getting close to full asking price because there's just no product. Most people will hold off and wait until May, right when they've done the yard, do the cleanup, planted some things, just better presentation. Let's just do one more quick stand and we'll kind of flop over there. Uh, Four Center Street, 1.449, sold for 1,365,000. Let's do the address history for education for you just to do it. So tried it at um, in June of last year, 15 days in the market, terminated the listing. And then another 46 days, it sold for that, which is common to see. Let's go to, I want to go to the parts of Innisfil. I want to first, I want to show active listings in that higher range. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna show all the inventory. All the inventory. 264 listings in Innisfil. Now I'm going to put in the range that I want. I'm just gonna go a million. Um Let's just go detached. No, it's showing me everything. Let's go back. But sixty four listings. Price. I don't know why this is doing this. It doesn't matter. Let's just go to. Um, I don't know why it's not doing this, but it doesn't matter. So now we're at the million dollar mark. So we got 264 listings. So between the 264, my math isn't the greatest. So I'm just going to use my calculator. 151 listings listed from a million to 2 million. That's a lot of product. So that's over half. Of the, of the product in that community, which we've been seeing this for a long time. And, I'm not, and I won't go through every listing, but I'll, I'll just go through a few of them in here um, to show you. Let's just go a little bit higher, maybe. Oh, let's look at Harrington, Lafroy. A lot of new builds in, in that community, as we know. There's some great builders down there. Same kind of makeup as we've seen Cookstown, big two stories, the odd big bungalow as well, 3,000, 3,500 square feet, 313 days of market. Okay, that's probably one of the highest ones that I've seen. 
and they've started back a year a year ago back in in uh, March at this. It's, it, it, it's a long, long time. Okay, I'm seeing more of it. Is the home finished? I, I don't. Well, it is by looking at the virtually stage. I won't go through the pictures on some of these. Um, some I will. There's not that many. Well, it's not bad. We'll go. We'll flip through them. But that's a long time. So, you know, take your time looking at uh, higher range price points and looking at the backyard. You're right. The small backyard, same thing that we saw in Cookstown. It's just a common thing that we're seeing the last few years of builders. They're just trying to get as many properties in as they can. I mean, aesthetically, it's great. Outside is great. Street's great. I just, the price point isn't so great for the, for the economic climate that we're in today with this higher rates. Let's go to, again, another one, 14 days in the market in Israel, Corby Way, six line Webster, great area, same kind of thing, right? Nice big two stories. This is a little smaller, 25 to 3,000 square feet, 1,238,000, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. Lot, again, 40 by 114.83. I want to go to the history to see if it's telling me a story. Nope, it's fairly new listing. Let's see how it looks. I don't like the bleached staircase. I don't love the flooring. That's me. I mean, it, it's a big home. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a big home. Love the size of the kitchen. I just don't know why we didn't do some more, more work up there. Pretty basic. You can see these are builder flush mounts. So not really upgraded at that price point. I think someone can do a lot better. Look at some other ones at some higher ranges. Dama Crescent, um, 29 days of market, four bedrooms, four bathrooms. Looking for, yeah, see the lot, 46.93 by 90. It's tiny. Let me just double check um, some history on it. Again, here's the story, right? Way back in November. We just keep going up 26 days on market. Then we drop it hundred grand. We got 47 days on market. This keeps running. This is triple days on market. Then we got 27 days on market. The price terminated 29 days on market. So we kept the same price. This is normal to see folks. Nobody wants these big homes right now because just the cost of the mortgage and also the the cost to maintain it, heat, hydro, et cetera. Let's go back in taxes. I forty five ninety two. I should be covering a bit more of that. So take a look at the tax component as well. I should have covered a bit of that. Lawson one million two hundred fifty thousand. It's sold conditionally. Let's just double check price points. Nope, sold in nineteen. Um, two thousand smaller home, two thousand to twenty five hundred square feet. Victoria, it's, it cooks down well. Just seventy one days, and we covered that off anyway. Uh, Pertis Road, Innisfil, six line of Webster, good area. Again, I'm going to talk about the crime again. There's just very little. There's just nothing going on, which is good. One million two eighty nine, eight days in the market. Again, we can kind of see the history. Way back from July. This is normal. So we're seeing a pattern. I really hope the video um, helps help you. You need any other information? Give me a call. Happy to answer any questions that you have. I just think that you have a lot of choice out there for um, properties at the higher range in this community, and you're in a great position to negotiate. So you need any help with that? Reach out. Happy to help out anyway. You enjoy your day.